Hello people, how are y'all doing? I hope you're having an amazing day, you know, today we're not doing any mods, you know, we're not testing any mods out or anything or showcasing them, you know, so today we're, I'm actually gonna tell you guys how to install these mods, you know, how you get them into the game and start using them, because uh, a few of you guys actually already asked me this, so you know, let's make a video on it, there are already videos out there, but you know, I guess they're not up to date, so you guys are reluctant to like follow them through, but just know, um, Gorg has actually already made a video on this and it's a really good video, you should check it out. I will leave the link to that video in the description too in case there's something here you don't understand in fact i did use his video to download my mod but i will just again to uh, verify that the method still works so all you need to do actually first is you don't need to be on worldbox so just simply close it once you have closed worldbox all you really need to do is just be up here in this link you will need this link it is down in the description i will leave it there and all you have to do is go on the go on it and then you will need to download something called ncms so just click here right there and just download the latest one and i would recommend just leaving it in your desktop right here once you're on your desktop all you will need to do is right click it extract all and then just extract this now will extract it and now we will drag this right here you can see that there once you have these two perfect now just leave that there for now and open up steam <laughs> now okay don't make fun of your boys games right <laughs> he he's i played on xbox right so most of my games are on there but anyways go on to world box right click properties once you're in properties go to install files once you're in install files click on browse now once you're here just click on world box data now streaming assets and then mods right there and then what you're gonna need to do is just close steam down and drag on what we sh what we extracted earlier onto here so you can see right there it's on right there so once you do have this dragged in here guys make sure you double click on it and you'll have this all you have to do is hold left click onto it once you're holding left click all you have to do is move it into this mods right there and it will look something like this and once it's like this great job and all you, you don't really need this anymore, so you can just close this down. And now open your world box again. And once the world box open, do three, uh, just get rid of that. And then you can see there is a mod folder. Now I already do have a mod here because I already had a mod installed. So they were already in a folder and just the, the application we installed already knew we had one, which is the last one we actually tested out. Um, so now you can just close this down and you can see down here, we actually have this mods icon, which you can click on and manage all of the mods. So now how do you get mods exactly? So it's actually very easy now. You don't need to mess around in the files anymore. So a website where you can get all the mods is a website called GameBanana.com and once you're on here just type in Worldbox. Also another place you can actually get mods is um, the uh, Discord of course and you can just scroll down into the mods part right here and you can see you can see all of the mods and the renames so it seems like it got updated actually recently again so I might have to re-update it and then you can see and all you have to do is just click on one of the links. So for now let's find the mod really quick. So I'll just try this mod right here, which we already used, so mod and mod. Uh, just click on it with the side and you can see it leads me onto the same website. So we're just going to close the old one and you can see it's right here. Now to download this mod is very easy. Scroll down to the bottom. Make sure the mod is up to date guys. So it's 19 days ago, which is pretty much up to date really. So it is supported. You can see here all you have to do is click on this and open world box. And it will automatically uh, open world box for you now i think i already had one running so i need to I actually need to close this there you go and now let's see if this works i don't think it's gonna now because i just done that oh no there you go it's working it's working okay there you go and just click on this and you can see it's already here install mod and you just press install and once installed all you need to do is close down world box again once you have closed down world box add back and open it again and your mod should be there and there we go world box is up and there we go you can see modern mod right there and let's um so you can see we got the downgrade and upgrade abilities right there and yeah there we go the mod is working fine there's one more thing i actually like to mention which is that sometimes when you don't want to use a mod and if you click on this like let's say if you don't want to use modern uh mod again so once you clicked on this x it should say game should be reset to apply changes so let's restart a game 
and there we go we restart that game now for me it did work by the way right here so the mod is excluded but sometimes it doesn't work and if it doesn't work for you and the problem is occurring all you have to do is open up steam again and click on and right click so let me just close down world box so right click on world box and go to properties again and go to install files and once you install file go to browse and you should see a folder here called mods this is where all your mods will be so let's say you download a mod and you try taking off you know try excluding it from the game it's not working all you have to do is go here and just delete the file you want right here so we will just delete this and there we go that's what you have to do and now close it down and close this down and you can launch Roblox again and the mod won't be there of course because you have just deleted it so if it doesn't work sometimes just do that guys it's a bit annoying i don't know why it does that sometimes but this is just another extra tip if you need it and you can see the mod is not there anymore there we go and it's working fine it's right there the function anyways guys thank you for watching if you like the video you know comment down below anyways guys you already know what to do if you like the video and i hope to see you in the next video